You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government buy-in for the people. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said during the Democratic National Convention that he would make passing the Freedom to Vote Act and John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act a 2025 priority. But that requires Democratic majorities in the House and Senate and fixing the filibuster. The Freedom to Vote Act was reintroduced in 2023 after coming within two votes of changing filibuster rules to allow it to pass with 51 votes in 2021. Filibuster rules allow a senator to block a bill unless there are 60 votes to overcome an objection. The sweeping Freedom to Vote Act increases ballot access by requiring early voting in all 50 states, mail-in voting in federal elections, sets federal minimum polling place rules for wait time, security, and access, bans gerrymandering for congressional voting districts, and adds protections for certifying elections, among dozens of other reforms. The two senators previously blocking the legislation, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, are both retiring. The John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act codifies Justice Department rules based on the 1965 Voting Rights Act, including the pre-clearance requirements for states with histories of discrimination. Since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down those and other requirements, voter suppression has surged. Passage of these voting rights bills depends on Democrats winning majorities in the 2024 election. We have explainers linked at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Veal.